all right to flash this chrysler so i can remember and anyone else can remember it's kind of difficult if you're just doing one every few months like i do um you got to go to the mopartsb.com make an account log into that then to actually program you've got to get three different subscriptions you've got to go to the purchase tab over here make sure you go to the purchase tab you got to purchase a Ytech subscription. You've got to get, you got to buy a Tech Authority a subscription, and you got to get an ECU flash. So you're looking at fifty dollars for the three day, and if you're just doing one at a time like I usually do at a small shop, you got to get a thirty-six dollar. So that puts you about eighty-seven bucks there. Then you've got to get this for thirty-seven. I can't even do the math there. So you're, you're looking at almost $120 to program one vehicle. That's what it costs you. So I, I'm sure the dealer would flash it for cheaper than any small shop can. But if you're just trying to beat these wait times at the dealership and you want to do it yourself, you've got to buy one, two, three subscriptions. And once you buy that, you've got to go back to your dashboard and actually assign a subscription to your device which is very very confusing how you, you do this I can't even remember where you go now but one of these you actually have to go to I've already done it and you've got to assign it to your device somehow okay please select the field to assign the subscription I feel like I've already done that, but you gotta assign all this stuff to get it to work. Okay, so everything should be assigned now, and then you actually have to download and install the YTech 2 program. Let's see, so once you get all that assigned, well, if it's the first time you've ever used this uh, new programming process, you actually have to verify your computer through Mopar. So that's a whole other process. I, I had to get on the phone with them to get all that done. Um, it took several days to get that done. So once I went through that first verification process, then every time I get on here, I've got to go purchase that subscription, purchase, purchase that subscription, purchase that subscription, assign the subscriptions, then... Let's see if I can minimize this here then I go to uh, my Watek 2 actually launch it and this is kind of tricky too when you go to connect don't do device do this flash application no maybe you go to device okay I think I went to the wrong thing okay connect device up oh, come on now non verified device and then I have a maxi flash pro and then it's actually gonna launch gives me an error message we're gonna continue anyways because I think it'll still work Okay, then I've got to log in. So let me log in and then we'll continue. Okay, once you log in, screen looks like this. And then I have this Jeep up here I'm trying to program. I'm going to click on it. And uh, we, we did a transmission and it wants the TCM updated to the latest, greatest calibration. So can't remember if it's part of the PCM or not. It must be part of the PCM. So we're gonna flash it. It's got this right here. Okay. So let's give me some more information here. I'm gonna continue on. And then it's gonna ask customer complaint and all this stuff which I'm not sure exactly 
what's going on with that. But, and I'll just put transit, just the, the trans information said, make sure you reflash PCM to the latest calibration. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so. I don't know what happened there. I understand. Okay. okay, now we should be able to flash. If everything's a sign right, this is a ridiculous process. If you ask me, they made this really difficult. I know when I flash GM, but go figure, you know, it's a lot easier to work on GM. Usually when you go do GM stuff, it's real simple, real quick, easy to navigate. This is extremely difficult. And, and whoever set this up knows this, and I get the feeling they're probably trying to keep, you know, rednecks like me from uh, flashing crossers. But um, just wanting to let you know, it's not going to work. This old redneck still able to do it. But just remember when you're when you're going into this, it's it's very difficult to do. So if you've never done one before on a Chrysler, you're going to have to verify your computer first, and it's going to take several days. But then once you do that, you've got to buy, you've got to buy one, two, three subscriptions to do one flash. Yeah, it's ridiculous, but that's how you do it. I really made this video for myself so I could remember how to do it. And if, if you're out there struggling, trying to flash a Chrysler, this is how you do it.